We do have to go to our correspondent again in Atlanta. The game is getting really great. Towards the end, it's heating up. Uh, the score is now 65-61, Louisville on top. Patino coaching his ass off. About six and a half minutes left. Let's throw it to Barry Sobel in Atlanta. He's also got a special guest with him. Barry? <laughs> Thank you, Artie. I don't know if you can hear me again. The, the game is so tight and it's pad the motor. I don't know if, if you'll agree with me, Artie, but I think the moment of the game was right before the game when Willis Reed came out from the, under the tunnel. This place just right. went crazy! Right, that's actually something that happened 42 years ago. <laughs> they are still going wild about it! What do you uh, think, uh, Artie? Uh, good point. I can barely hear you. It is so crowded there. It is so, it is so there are 74,000 people yeah. that look like little Wayne here right. outside the place. They, <laughs> that they, is scary. Not a lot of people look like little Wayne inside. They don't have the money for the tickets. This is Atlanta. <laughs> that is scary. This is Atlanta. I got I got to tell you something. I was so happy to see the Fab the fa what what the Fab Five, right? Fab Five, that's right. I, but I was very disappointed that Ringo wasn't there. Oh. Yeah, Why right. are they going to get Ringo? They actually added one to the Fab Four and still no Ringo. That is correct. That's no! right. I just did some quick math there. Now, I understand you have a special guest. No, I, I uh, we don't have, but here, well, we do have a special guest, though, Artie. Okay. Right here with me. Uh, he came down uh, to support his friend. We have, we have with me uh, Coach K Coach Krzyzewski. Mike Krzyzewski. Mike Krzyzewski is with us right here. Wow. Right here, and it is crazy. Mike Krzyzewski, I've always wanted to... <laughs> <laughs> what is that, Arnie? No, go ahead. <laughs> Mike Krzyzewski, I've always wanted to know. Now, why do they call you Coach K? Well, that's a long story. Hey, Arthur, how are you? I'm eating some chewing tobacco and a lantern. They're whomping these boys down here right now. It's odd, yeah. because it's odd that Krzyzewski has a, uh, a southern accent because I, I I actually think he's from the north, but go ahead. Chicago. <laughs> he's actually from Chicago. Well, go ahead. Go ahead, Coach K. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm sorry, Artie. I was just checking my Facebook. You're not going to believe it. My, uh, Coach Krzyzewski has defriended me on Facebook. <laughs> well, he has defriended me. I'm no longer his friend. I said, that's I mean, so lucky to have him here, right here, yeah. to ask him. Now, why did you defriend me on Facebook, Coach Krzyzewski? Well, Barry, things happen and stuff like that, because I've been down here a while. <laughs> that is right, Artie. <laughs> Wait, wait, Barry, I'm, I'm curious. Just ask, just let him talk for a bit. Ask him for his analogy of the game. All right, here's what I, here's what I want to ask you. What is your, uh, was that an analogy of the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so to compare it to something else. Well, yeah, his analogy of the game. So All far. right, what is your, uh, Coach K, what is your analogy of the game <laughs> so far? Well, Barry, I compare this to between the war between the states. They're going to want those suckers by the end of it. So he's comparing this to the Civil War. <laughs> That's right. It's like a civil war out here. Now, uh, down on the down on the floor. Now it seems like Coach K has let himself go weight wise. Can you ask what happened? What you should I? What are you saying? A wait to ask him no, something it, later wait, in the wait, show? Weight wise, he seemed to let himself go. He seems to be <laughs> out of shape. Could you ask him what happened? Oh, okay, Co Coach K. Now, it, it seems like you've uh, really slimmed down for the game today. <laughs> well, well, to, what do you, uh, to what do you attribute, or if you could put in an analogy, how you've trimmed down, or why you look so uh, big or small, depending on what kind of comedy you have for us. Take your time. Well, Barry, it's a scooter pies and marmalade and all that good stuff. Jul mint ju juleps and drinking and fighting and all that mint good juice? stuff. Mint juice? <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I, long Jew. I distinctly heard no, no, I, I distinctly know. heard you. I distinctly heard you. He said, Lady Marmalade. He got, uh, he got, with the, he uh, got, he got the hung up on the... I don't know who sang the song. He got, he got hung up on the Jew part of Jew. <laughs> well, no, he, distinct, he distinctly said Jew. I, I, I said Jew. I heard the Jew. I said Jew. I mean, Jew. I've been drinking that. Forever. <laughs> All right, Artie, back to Jews! Okay, well, thank you very much. It's back good. to Jews! Yeah, thank you, bro. I wrapped it around, Artie. I gotta, yes. I gotta tell you something. We're, gonna be, we're probably gonna be out of here. Yeah, well, thank you, bro. I think we're, I think everyone, I think we're all winners. 
Thank you, Barry. Uh, at this point, no. I don't think we're all losers <laughs> at this point. But uh, Coach K, thank you so much for that uh, brilliant analysis and uh, anti-Semitism. Thank you. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't get anti-Semitic on I said Jew lips. You said Jew lips. But you said Jew, Jew lips. Yeah, Jew you lips. Drinking. Now, what are <laughs> Jew lips? <laughs> what exactly are you? <laughs> What exactly are Jew lips? It's mint juleps. It's a drink we have down here. Yeah, but you said Jew lips. No, no, not Jew lips. I said Jew lips. I got to tell you. What? What? Wait, but what? He looks off to the side to, to address you in the studio. It's like you're right here with us, Arnie. Mike, no Mike. Way. He looks at you. Yeah, Mike, like do you you're realize? Like, you're the Jew up in the drink. Do you realize, Mike, you're supposed to be looking at the camera and not at me? <laughs> Mike, the bit is that you're looking into the camera. I don't know. I'm not in the middle of the internet anymore. I gotta tell you something. That's Mike, the kind of game that Mike, we're out tonight. I didn't think it happened. I gotta tell you one last thing. If Barry could stop talking for one second. At the end of the game, Chris Weber calls a timeout and they lose again. I can't Bar believe Bar it. Barry, one what? second. One what? second. If no, you could just... You're on a split screen. That's why I look that way. No, no, you're looking directly at me, Mike. <laughs> in the bit, in the bit, I'm not standing ten feet from you. In the bit, I was, I was just wondering if anyone got the Chris Weber joke. No, I tried, I tried to cover my butt with a script, split screen, but I'm sorry, Arnie. Well, yeah. Why are you still looking directly at me? There he is, there he is, right there. There's Arnie. Arnie's both there and he is everywhere. Just look Arnie, into the look, look, in, look into the camera, Mike. Okay. And as and as Coach Shevsky, explain why you said Juleps. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you something. Could you could you tell us why the tell us why you said juleps? I'm not an anti-Semite, first of all, because <laughs> for, first of all, I'm not an anti-Semite. I said juleps, like the mint you put in your drink. <laughs> well, now well, what so... he's saying is the thing that goes in a mint <laughs> julep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's saying <laughs> juleps, man. Juleps. Well, ba <laughs> but, 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 let him let him explain it again one more time, Mike, because it didn't make any sense. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, mind if I you mind if I ask him the question again? Go ahead. Uh, let me ask you something, Coach K. Now, why did you say Jew lips like a Jew's lips? Is that what you're saying, Arnie? No, yeah. No, no, because Jewish people and Christians are first cousins. We believe, you know what I mean? Because I love anti-Semitism in my body, first of all. I love everybody as long as they're not idiots, you know what I mean? No, right, I understand, and, Mike. <laughs> but but under, you understand, Mike, you've put the show in a very weird position. No, no, I want it's to welcome this so I don't want people coming down with me. We're, we're, in show, we're in show business. I know. And, you know, uh, a lot of our Jewish brothers and sisters are involved in show business. Could you just please try to explain what you I, did? Okay, juleps. It's like a thing you put in drinks. <laughs> but every time you say juleps, it sounds like you're saying juleps. No, Barry can say it better than me. Yeah, yeah, I, th I think it's juleps. No, but Barry didn't make the mistake you did. Explain it. I, I, I... The word Barry just said, I'm repeating what he said to him. Don't repeat it, because that you, Barry is Jewish himself. He's fine. You as an Italian is Although getting us... ironically, I don't really think I have Jew lips. But you're getting us in trouble. Right? Like, did, did I mention that at the end of the game, Chris Weber is going to call another timeout and... Hey, and I, I worked on that joke all day, honey! No, but the spelling is... J-U. Uh, J-U-L-I-E-P-S. Juleps. <laughs> no, it's not. That's juleps. <laughs> juleps. <laughs> I gotta tell you something. Any way you spell it, it's juleps, and it's exciting. And back to you, honey! Mike, what is a julep, exactly? <laughs> not back to you. It's something you put in a, a, mint, a mint drink. Like, it's like uh, whiskey and uh, uh, crushed ice and, like... Jew, a mint, oh, he said Jew. I heard that. <laughs> I did hear it, honey. Could, could yeah, you understand? If you're, gonna do, if you're gonna do a southern redneck accent, could you <laughs> pick another drink beside, that doesn't have the word Jew in it? Okay, uh... <laughs> I think it would be better if you looked this way. In other words, if you're doing Can you a if you pick another drink from if, the South that doesn't have a Jew in it? If you're doing a redneck voice, also, you might want to stay away from the word vinegar. Because the last, <laughs> you know what I mean? The last part of that, vinegar. Vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. What the hell are you doing to me? You understand what I mean? So, 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 right. So, as a redneck, try saying vinegar. Vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> and now say julep. Juleps. Look at the thing. Look at the hair. Look at the camera. One more time. I think what you say is look at the camera. Don't point to it. Just look at the camera. Do you say... understand why that was the worst choice ever <laughs> in your improv? <laughs> That was the worst choice of all time. Oh this is the longest 20 seconds. <laughs> well, because, I, I don't know, because I'm trying to save this the show. This is a Twilight episode that I've never... Had.
I'm, I'm trying to save that. the show. Now, Mike, you really have to apologize. I am. Okay, wait, wait. When we come back, I want you to apologize. I will. I okay. apologize. We're going to take a break. When we come back, Mike Machetti will apologize. Will. He's going to put it in a form of an analogy. Yeah. I'm going to say something. Arnie, back to you! Okay, thank you, Brian. Back to you, Arnie! We, we, we'll, we'll get an apology for his anti-Semitic no, no, I'll, I'll write it out right back now. Yeah, right now. Okay, we'll apologize right after this. Right.